This is Doofy McBatterscotch, and this is Tom Hanks. Let's get started on some of his movies. Forrest Gump. Can't tell you how many times I've watched this in school. They show it an awful lot. It's just one of those movies. Well, they never showed it all the way through. I mean, they skipped a few parts, but uh, they sure showed it a hell of a lot. But it was a pretty good movie. It mixed in a little bit of comedy and a little bit of sadness, too. All about Forrest Gump, who's a little bit mentally challenged, but not to the point where he can't uh, find a way to live with himself. He goes through a whole bunch of crazy situations, goes through the Vietnam War, maybe, and uh, he goes through some fishing with some dudes. He goes running. And, yeah, he definitely goes running. Run, Forrest, run. He does a whole bunch of that. And there's this one bitch he meets when he's uh, a little kid who keeps on coming into his life up until the bitter end. It's sad and cool at the same time. He tells his story. It's awesome. It's a good movie. Thumbs up. Saving Private Ryan. Well, Private Ryan is played by Matt Damon. And Tom Hanks, as you can see, is not Private Ryan. He's Captain John Miller. And he goes throughout the entire film uh, trying to find Private Ryan. And then, a little bit later, he attempts to save him. And he does. He saves him, but he gets killed in the aftermath. That might be considered a spoiler, but, I mean, what do you expect from a war movie? People die in the war, and in, especially in dramas, and this is a fairly bloody one. It's a whole bunch of shooting and stuff. It's good. It's a good movie. Castaway. Being a fan of Survivor, I like Castaway. Wilson. Yep. This is a fairly good movie. Tom Hanks is on a plane, and it crashes down on an island. Unfortunately, there aren't any other castaways. He's already won the game. But that's a fairly boring concept because no one else around gets bored. Not a lot of dialogue either. He goes around, grows a beard, tries to find stuff to eat. He finds Wilson. He makes a friend out of him, talks to him a little bit, tries to survive in the wilderness, and eventually... He builds himself a boat and finds his way back home and then finds out his wife has ditched his ass. Yep, she ditched him for another dude because he was gone for too long. What a bitch! But it's a good movie. Good movie. Thumbs up. Catch me if you can. We did this one already. Leonardo DiCaprio. You've got mail. We have not done this one yet. This is one of many collaborations with uh, Meg Ryan. They go hand in hand quite a bit. There's about three movies uh, that they star in together, and this is one of them. It's based on that book called The Little uh, Shop Down the Corner, or something close to that. And you've got Tom Hanks, who runs a big-time book company, and Megan Fox, who runs a small-time book company. And Tom Hanks is trying to run her out of business. But, here's the twist. He is engaged in an online relationship with a woman who he does not know personally. And that woman just happens to be the owner of the little shop that he's trying to run out of business, but neither of them know it. Eventually, Tom Hanks figures it out when they plan a date, and he goes all cold feet on her, doesn't show up. Oh, wait, no, he does, but he just doesn't reveal his identity. And eventually, the two fall in love. Eh, I don't want to spoil too much, even though I spoil a lot there. Mr. Spoils right there. Anyway, it's a good old movie. Sleepless in Seattle is yet another collaboration with Meg Ryan. And this one's a little bit different in the plot. 
Uh, Tom Hanks is a... Uh, no, he's not a married man. He is a widower who has a kid, and his kid hooks him up with uh, Meg Ryan on a... Or, no, he doesn't. Let's see, what the hell does he do again? He puts in an ad for a relationship in, like, this one radio show, and Meg Ryan eventually goes for it. And they meet at the top of uh, the Seattle Tower, or whatever the hell you're supposed to call it. It's that famous one. And they fall in love, just like in the other one. It's a good chick flick. One of the most famous of all times. Philadelphia already did it. Road to Perdition. Alright, here we go. This one's real different than most of Tom Hanks' movies. Uh, he is a mobster, which doesn't really make a whole hell of a lot of sense. Because Tom Hanks does not look like a mobster at all. I mean, Danny DeVito, yes. Harvey Cattell, yes. Tom Hanks, hell no. He don't look like a gangster. He don't. He just doesn't. But they try to make him into one, too. And Jude Law, too. They try to make him into a gangster, which doesn't work at all. But they still try and make it good. I think it was horrible casting in this movie. They could have gotten way, way better people that looked a lot more like the part. But, eh, they didn't. Yeah, it's Tom Hanks trying to protect uh, some people. They got uh, Paul Newman in there, thrown into the bunch. He actually does look a little bit like a gangster, so I think they cast him well. whole bunch of people get killed left and right. Jude Law, I think, finally kills Tom Hanks or somebody else does, but he gets revenge, and the little boy runs away. It's okay. It's kind of all over the place. It's not real famous for a movie, but it's okay. Tom Hanks. Oh, and a question you might have is, why the hell isn't Toy Story in here? Toy Story is one of the most famous films of the world. Why is the, that movie not on here? That's ridiculous. Well, the way this book works is if you've watched some of my other movies, or no, because I don't have movies, because I'm not famous. If you've watched some of my other videos, you've realized by now, at some point, that no animated films have been featured in here. Why not? Because uh, the person who wrote the book, Russell Ash, hates animated films. He hates them. So, he did not feature any of them in any of the actors' top tens, because he hates them. So that's why they're not there. Tom Hanks. What do I think of the guy? I think he's awesome. I think he's great. He seems like a cool guy. He makes a lot of really good movies. Some shitty movies, but he does make a lot of good movies. And I like the guy. He seems like a cool dude. Tom Hanks. Thumbs up. Gene Hackman. There he is. Ed Harris. Let's move on there. Apollo 13. We did that one already. The Rock. Ah, I just totally skipped over Apollo 13, didn't I? Yeah, I yeah, already did that. The Rock. Already did that one. The Truman Show. Already did that one. The Firm. Already did that one. Stepmom. Alright, running out of time. We'll do this one next time. See ya.